this end here so um, we'll send you the video so normally the, if you swing a golf club and we'll just move the torque optimizer to the top of the backswing the, the frontal plane which is what I've got here so it's the front camera view I suppose uh, it, the torque optimizer gives me the ability to um, move the vertical force underneath the right foot and the vertical force underneath the left foot and it allows me to angle the arrow so the starting position here I've got a player I've got a skeleton position at the top of the backswing where he has a vertical force of 748 newtons okay so that's you could say that's his weight at this point which would be 74.8 kilograms okay so we're just dividing it by gravity and we'll use 10 just makes maths a little bit easier than doing the 9.81 uh, because it creates this force and it's going through the center of mass currently um, so there's no moment arm the moment arm is the distance between the mass and the yellow line which uh, people will see this um, that vertical combined force is there's no moment arm so 0 times 748 is 0 he has no torque there's no rotation here on the frontal plane the frontal plane rotation is helping the things that are moving more vertically in a golf swing as well as things that are moving less but kind of less important so if you think the hand path and the club plane path they're working pretty vertically and of course more so in an iron so you're going to use more frontal plane torque to move the club in the backswing and the downswing so moving it up and down that up and down movement you, you see in in this particular view um, so if I apply if I increase my vertical and I'm doing that here on the on the avatar if I increase the vertical force underneath my lead side then that moves the center of pressure more towards my left foot and that increases my moment arm so on the avatar here I've now got 24 centimeters I haven't really changed the, the vertical force too much okay because I can lower the the right foot down as I move more into the left and because I've now got a moment arm what's going to happen is that my frontal plane torque is now going to go from zero up higher okay so it's the moment arm times the force equals the torque and there's a, the equation for torque you know torque equals force times moment arm and that's that distance that your uh, viewers will be able to see on the video you post a wee bit later the other way of doing this is to try and push to the right and the ground reaction force newton's the law it will push you to the left and that will also increase your moment arm so you have more leverage okay and it's the same sort of thing the idea of using a, a short spanner to undo a knot and a car tire when you have a puncture and then you can add more leverage by adding a bigger moment arm by adding a bigger spanner so you can apply less force to get the same result and you find it easier to unscrew the nut on the tire and the same thing is true in a golf swing you can use the extra torque to just make things easier or you can use the extra torque to swing faster i hope that Very was nice. uh, i hope that was okay obviously we'll, we'll your your uh, viewers will be able to watch that as i say uh, a little bit later no, that's, no, that's excellent. excellent. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much for sharing, sharing that, Steve. That's, that's really, really great. great.